Welcome back to the channel. This is the Ian West Network, and today we're going to talk about the Samsung Active 2. Do a quick unboxing before the new Galaxy watches come out, and then I'll explain to you guys why you should pick up this watch for the discounted price. So let's get into this video right after the drop. Okay, so we are back in the video. Um, Basically, we're just going to do a quick unboxing of this watch so you can actually see how it operates. To be honest, I didn't even have to peel that. I'm just going to go ahead and use my trusty key. Let's call it my knife for today. <laughs> and we're going to basically tear this open. Make sure I got that. I did. And we're going to just basically take a look at this watch. Now, this one is brand new. I do have one of these, but I gave it to my wife. So I ended up grabbing one for myself. And I figured, you know what? Why not do a review on it? Also. Now for me, I'm not the big, oh my gosh, this thing is like, you know what, that's why, extra tape, there we go. So for me, are you serious? What's going on here? There we go, now it's torn. Gonna take all that just to tear that open. All right, so what we have here, of course we have the watch, but first we're gonna show you what comes inside of it. Well, I'm gonna show you, I said we. This is the charger for the Samsung Active. Now, the regular Galaxy watches, like the Galaxy 3, and those watches use a different charger. Um, the active watches, even if you have an older active, you can use the same charger that you previously have. Come on, video. Why are you messing up? There we go. Um, you can use the same charger for your previous watch. If you have an active already, a smaller one, they all fit the same size. Um, I can't speak for the newest watches that are recently coming out because they do have a different design. They're getting rid of that rotating bezel for the Samsung watches. In addition to, the, there's going to be a special edition version that will have that rotating bezel if it didn't already release. I'm not going to pick up that one if I'm not a fan of that watch. I think it's hideous. All right, so what we have here is the sensor on the back, as you can see. Um, it is a bigger screen. Like I said, I prefer the bigger watch. I don't like the smaller ones. Um, you can buy watch covers for this, just so you know. Let me give you a similar example. This, Like I said, this one right here is the first active. And I do have the rose gold one, I believe it's called. Rose gold, I forget. But you can buy these covers off of Amazon or different websites. And they really do protect your watch. I've been through everything. It hit walls and whatnot. And I have no scratches. But anyway, let's get back to this one. Um, you do have your back button and your home button. Wipe that down. So you do have your back button here. You have your home button, which takes you to the main screen. It is touch screen and it has a rotating bezel. And I will show you all those features. But what we're going to do now is just cut away, go to the actual website so I can show you, the customer or the consumer, whoever is interested in this watch, um, the exact specifications so there won't be just me talking. You can see it with your own eyes. All right, so right here, we're actually on the Samsung website. And we're looking at the Galaxy Active 2 right here. The one that we see is the 44mm. The one I got is the Aqua Black. It does come in cloud silver and pink gold. Now, what I will say is those bands are interchangeable. So if you buy the band from, I guess, Samsung would sell their own bands, but there also is a selection on Amazon that you can get. Personally, I prefer the Velcro because it doesn't cause that swelling on your wrist or the, uh, the imprint. Anyway, this is the 40M that comes in different colors. So remember, I have the 44 with a bigger screen and a bigger battery. That's what I prefer, but it's mainly because the bigger version of this watch actually has the feature where you can talk on it. It has ringtones and text messages similar to an Apple watch. And for me, if you're going to buy a watch, there's no reason to go to a lower version that only vibrates. It doesn't really make sense, and it kind of beats the whole purpose of having the watch. Even if you don't use the talking feature, in an emergency where you can't get to your phone and your phone rings or you need to dial 911, you do have the option for the watch, like a car crash if something happens. And sometimes you just have to think about your safety as a whole and who you're buying the watch for. So anyway, let's scroll down. Because this that with the sensor I showed you on the back right here, as you can see, the uh, HR sensor. You need to check your heart. Uh, you know, honestly, I can't say heart rate because I'm not sure. I know this one does do the, no, it does do the heart rate. I don't want to mix them up with the Apple watches. So we're just going to go through each section. Um... I'm not going to talk about dimensions of the watch. That's not important. Uh, Super AMOLED 360 dot by 360. So it does have a pretty vibrant display for a watch. Obviously, it's not going to be the same uh, quality screen as, per se, the Samsung phones or probably the smartphone that you're currently using. 
but it does have cording glass, so if it does take a hit to the ground or to the wall, normally it won't crack. Remember, this is glass. So for those people that think if you have a certain particular type of glass, it won't crack, that's nonsense. All glass cracks. That's why it's glass. You should always protect your investment. Get yourself a nice tempered glass or a case or at least a tempered glass so that the screen won't get deeply scratched because that's probably something that you can't get out. Um, battery, 340 mAh. Of course, a smaller version, which is the 40 mm, has 247, but we're going to just disregard the small one right now because we're talking about the big one. Uh, Exynos 9011, I said 9011, 9110 or 9110 <laughs> dual core. Uh, it does clock in at 1.15 uh, gigahertz. That's the highest it goes. But remember, it's a watch. And normally when you use these type of watches, you're just using it for health, text messages, notifications, amongst other things. But personally, I just want the text messages and notifications in case I'm away from my phone. Um, watch OS, I guess you want to call it watch. Watch OS is more of an iPhone thing. I'm just going to say that 4.0. Of course, this was uh, recorded when the watch came out. So by now, and I'm sure there are more updates. Samsung might have updated their website. I can't imagine if they didn't. But just in case, when you actually sync your watch, make sure that you go to software and it gives you the option to actually update your software. And if it's available, you want to do that. It'll add more watch faces amongst other features. Um, 1.5 gigahertz, gigahertz, 1.5 gigabytes of RAM, uh, four gigs internally. So um, that's the LTE version. I'm sorry, the Bluetooth version is the one that I have. So as you can see, it's going to have the 768 megabytes of RAM plus four gigs of internal memory. Um, the difference between the two, LTE and Bluetooth, is very simple. LTE has the same features as the Bluetooth model. The difference is that you can actually have a data plan on it where if you leave your phone home, your phone number will still ring from the watch itself. Personally, I'm never away from my phone in that sense where it's in the house with me. So just like a regular Bluetooth, if you sent you by the Bluetooth version, which is cheaper, much cheaper than the LTE version, You'll go through the Samsung app sync it the same way, but the difference is that it will ring as long as in the vicinity of your phone. So if, it's, if so the distance is 60 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet, whatever that is, as long as you stay in that vicinity of the phone, not only can you answer phone calls, but you'll also be able to just get your notifications, whether it be Facebook, regular text messages, emails, which you have the option to turn those notifications off and only toggle the ones that you want on. So for those that just don't want things constantly popping up on your wrist and it's constantly ringing, especially if you work in an office, you may not want that vibration on your wrist or you may not want the, it to ring on your wrist. Personally, I don't mind because I keep my phone on vibrate. But let me take a breath. Talking a lot. <laughs> but it's each, uh, it really depends on you and your personal lifestyle. Um, now, the current watches will work the same way. It'll just be faster and have better software, supposedly. But... Uh, Samsung watches never had outstanding software like Apple's where they go over and beyond when it comes to the GPS and other things. So just be mindful that realistically, uh, I don't know how much you really want to do on a watch. So you do have your gyro, barometer, HRM, heart rate monitor for, for uh, HRM for short, heart rate monitor, ambient light. I always turn that off. Um, I'm not even going to do the durability, but it is IP68, so it's water sweat resistant. So if you're in a gym, you're running, you get caught in a rainstorm, your phone should be fine. I'm not phone, sorry, your watch should be perfectly fine. Uh, this is compatible with Androids and Apple devices. But the main difference, and I have to say this for those that don't know, is that let's say you have picture uh, on Android devices. If you have pictures set to your contacts, they will come up on your watch. If you don't have pictures set up, it'll just ring regular. While on Apple devices, it'll only show the name or the the name of the person, but it won't it won't show the picture. It doesn't have that in depth software where we're going to go through the app in a little bit, and I'm going to show you the different features inside the Samsung app itself. Apple doesn't have those options. It's just simply talk and text, receive notifications, and that's it. It's not nearly as customizable. So this really this watch really is for a Android user. You can use it outside of Samsung. I'm using it on a OnePlus phone. But for the most part, uh, if you buy this for Apple or if you buy it and you just want to use it while you have an Apple device, you'll be perfectly fine. But I will suggest always having a, uh, if you're going to go full Apple, get an Apple Watch, obviously, because it's going to be, you're going to have a much more pleasant experience. 
just like if you switch over to Android, this is probably the ideal watch to get outside of the Pixel watch, if they ever release that watch, and the OnePlus watch, which you can't even find in stores. You probably have to get it from the website, so I'm not really too big of a fan of that. I, I'd rather just be able to go to my local store and pick it up, but we'll see what happens about that one. So what basically comes in the box is just your watch, like I showed you, the charger itself, and a quick startup guide, which we are going to ignore because I'm going to sync the watch and then show you some of the features in it actually right now as soon as I stop this recording. Okay, so what we have here is going to be the actual Galaxy app. Now this might look a little bit different than someone that might have an active one. And the reason it being is I know that Samsung has some newer software now. So even though the app for the most part is the same, it does look a little bit different. So the watch is currently synced. As you can see, the active two, that's the watch face. You have options between downloading applications, setting up your widgets, quick panels. Right now we're going to click on watch faces. So it's going to load up some customizable faces and you do have the option to change the customization, like the date, the weather steps. Um, over here, if you prefer having your own picture, you have the option to actually click on photo right here. It'll download the actual watch face and you're able to actually transfer pictures and music, by the way, from your watch over to, uh, I'm sorry, from your phone over to your watch. So that way you can set ringtones to your watch or you can set background photos for your actual wallpaper for the watch. Um, other options that we have here is the watch settings. You, things for your notifications, such as will your watch light up if, it, if you are wearing it? Will it light up if you're not wearing it? Uh, what notifications could be sent to your device, such as Facebook, Instagram, different things. As a matter of fact, let me see if I can show you that one. So I have it set where all my applications, YouTube Studio, Instagram, Messages, everything I have on my phone, I will get a notification. Basically main app, click main app. So if I get a Gmail, a phone call, text message, a picture message, I want to make sure that I can see all my notifications on my watch all the time. As a matter of fact, I just got one from Pokemon Go if you hear a vibration in the background. Um, what else do we have here for this watch? Display It's typically the same with all the watches. You have your auto brightness, uh, how many seconds you want for the time out. only do 15 and leave that alone. Background style. So as you're scrolling through your applications and your settings, you can change how the background itself actually looks. I just have it set here but the black is normally the default background so i'm just going to switch it back over here uh what else do we have here for this it has a water lock just in case it, something splashes and the touch sensitive part lights up the screen it'll know and it'll keep the phone actually protected and locked so you won't accidentally tap on settings on your watch uh battery power saving mode i don't normally use that on my watches at all you have the advance which is the sos key wake up gesture means when you put your hand over your watch and it actually uh, goes into standby mode. Touch bezel is when you, uh, you know, the 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 other watches have a physical bezel that you can turn. While the Active series had it, where if you run your finger around the black border, it operates as a touch screen where you can actually go swipe back and forth. To be honest, I don't see any relevance to that feature, especially if the phone is, I'm sorry, the watch is fully bezel. Like it, it's not that much bezel in a watch. It doesn't have a physical knob like the older Samsung watches. So it's not necessary, but I'm glad that they did implement and keep that feature because that was one of the features that people really, really liked um, with the previous watches. I'm trying to keep these text messages from popping up. Oh my gosh, these guys just want to text, text during the, <laughs> the, the video recording. Anyway, this feature right here uh, where it says add content to your watch, I'm able to actually add track lists, songs, and copy images like I really discussed. So you'll be able to set background wallpapers, which you, which you would therefore go right here, watch faces, and you can just set that up yourself. Also, you're able to go into the physical um, watch itself and also change the faces that you already have preset or saved to the watch. So as you use the app, it's actually a really cool application. So I say just take your time going through it just to find out different things. If you just wanna use it for typical talk and text like me, Go through the pairing process it'll do that automatically for you and then you'll be good to go okay so lastly um this is a good watch this is my verdict part of the video the active two watch should be the standard watch that most people get primarily because the new watch os software goes into this phone um samsung does support watches for many many years i wish they did better support of their phones more so but 
I'll just swipe through it and just show you some of the features that I'm looking at. It's very easy. It's very responsive. When you receive text message on the active two and up, what I will say is that the messages pop up immediately on your phone while the older watches tend to have kind of a delay where you can probably pull your phone out and see it before the watch gets the notification. So that's why you do need to keep up on software with watches. Plus with the size, this is more so for a man. I mean, don't get me wrong. The smaller one isn't bad when you put it next to it, but it is definitely smaller. And um, it may look like the screens are similar, but the reality is that this is a smaller watch with a bezel on top of it that I took it off earlier in the video. And then that same black bezel that goes around is on this watch. So it has a much, much, much smaller screen. 40, 40 to 44 is a huge difference on your wrist. Um, the reason I say this phone is, I said this phone, the reason I say that this watch is still worth purchasing is for one primary reason. What's well, a couple really, but it's two hundred nineteen dollars at Target right now. If it was the regular price at two sixty nine, no, I wouldn't say it's worth it because the newer watches might cost you three something or two ninety nine or a certain price range where you might as well buy those. But for the price of um, two ninety nine, two nineteen on sale currently at Target, as this video is being posted, two nineteen at Target. I've had this watch before, and I, like I said, I have gave it to my wife. She has it. I like the bigger screen. I like the fact that. I can get text messages, I can get uh, voice calls, I can get ringtones, amongst other things, on this device, and I can still talk through it uh, if I choose to. Now, I never would, personally, because I have the, the Galaxy Buds, amongst other things, but I do like the watch. I like the way it operates. It's fast, where messages pop up just like that. As soon as you get it on your phone, they come up on your watch. If you're using an older watch, you tend to get messages in a delay. So that's why I say this watch is still good. And the fact that they're still updating it says a lot. Apple doesn't sell, sorry, Apple. Um, Samsung doesn't sell watches similar to Apple, meaning Apple watches, uh, they are better overall, in my opinion. I prefer Android software, but I can appreciate that their, their implementation and their system with all their products. I'm just not willing to get an a Apple watch, an a Apple phone, I mean, which I hate, just to get their watch. That's not worth me spending the money. So with this, this is the alternative. Like I said, there's the Pixel Watch, which isn't out yet. There's the OnePlus Watch, which isn't bad. It does its job, it's similar to this, less features, but it does its job and it's way cheaper. But for this price, the Active 2 being on sale, this is roughly almost the same price as the, um, what's it called? I forget the name of that watch, uh, OnePlus Watch. I think that OnePlus Watch started at 149, but there's different versions of it with a bigger screen, I believe. So quote me, if I'm wrong, correct me. But I believe that it is when I looked up on their, looked on their website, I saw a different, they started at like 159 and it, it varies in price. But for this, for people that love Samsung, you heard of the company, you know what the company can do, you understand that they uh, make good products and you're used to their products. Because remember, some people have brand loyalty while some people are just like, listen, if it's not broke, nothing to fix, I'll just stick to the company. This is still a decent watch for the price. If you can find it for $199, which I previously did before this, even better. But for the $219, that's not a bad price. Get the watch. Um, get it in short through Samsung or, get, or make sure you have some type of uh, protection plan if possible. I don't know if Target offered that personally, but I know stores like Micro Center, um, Best Buy do offer protection plans for your particular products. Just make sure you get a tempered glass on this guy and you'll be perfectly fine. So this is a major yes for me. If we're talking about just buying the watch, it's good enough. I don't need the newest thing. Watches are different. Watches are way different than phones when it comes to needing the newest product. It's a watch. It doesn't do anything besides tell time. You can talk on it. Sure, some watches have the heartbeat sensor and the EKG and all those different things. But at the end of the day, it's still a watch and you need a phone with it for the most part. Remember, this is the Wi-Fi GPS version. That's what I'm sticking with, and that's what I'm okay with. So that's the video, guys. Like, subscribe, do all that fun stuff at the end. Have any questions, I'll definitely answer whoever I can at a timely fashion. Um, and that's about it. See you guys in the next video.